how interesting it was. Um, and nobody was wearing a top, and they were largely young and attractive. And I thought, wow, score, I like this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I went swimming for a little while to cool down, and then I you know, decided to leave and uh, go get something to eat. So what I did was I, I uh, didn't change back into my street clothes. You know, what I did is I just kept on my swimming trunks, and, um, and I put my boots back on and my backpack. So here I am, I'm walking down this Dutch beach with my boots and backpack and swim trunks on, and everybody was staring at me. <laughs> um, and I thought, now why on a topless beach would anybody look at me, <laughs> really, when there were so many better things you could watch at, especially they were playing volleyball, I was <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyway, I was out do that in North America. I know, it's a shame. But uh, anyway, um, um, so anyway, um, they were staring at me. Why? Because, well, the sun never touches my body, so they never see anything look so pale in their entire lives. And when I had the boots on, and I'm kind of hairy too, so, and the pale skin, it was probably, you know, not anything anybody really wants to see. And, uh, and so I got stared at a lot. But that, you know, um, is only because it's so pale. So very few people are actually that white. But even if you're white, you can actually make melanin and protect yourself. And that's what I've done on my face and my hands, right? So I don't look the same there as I do across. Okay, now, the thing is, remember when I asked you to look into each other's eyes 